Hello everyone, welcome to JLab TV. I'm JLab, and this is Football Manager 2014. I think, well, I say I think we're doing well. I know we're doing well this year. If the fact that I have got the Manager of the Month award this month is anything to go by, I think I've done a good job. But yeah, the first game, I wasn't sure what to expect. It was an accident, I guess it's happened, because Stuart. McBrady wasn't starting. He came on for Smith, who got injured. I bought him on, thinking, "Okay, got nothing to lose here." And I put him in the inside forward role, and boy, did it pay off! This is the start of the first move, and honestly, I didn't know what the, uh, what was going to happen. This is the pass. It's a lovely pass. But he goes inside. I was going to complain, but then he goes to go and shoots and scores. It's, it, it was unexpected, and I couldn't help but feel happy about it. We hit them on the counter, and it worked well. I guess this is, this is unfortunate that this happened. The fact Andrews inadvertently put this into the back of his own net. I knew for certain that. It's a very rare thing for Andrews to score an own goal and for us to make a mistake. But hey, we had to do better. I wanted something before half time, and this happened. Sentry, Mabretti, goal, 2 1. And Mabretti's actually been called up for the under 19's Northern Irish team now, so he's doing well for himself, I think. But yeah, we wanted to make sure that we got a bigger lead. He didn't get the ball there, but he, Andrews gets it back. Sanchi, Cal, and Hines. Is it Hines and Hint? But then Michael Moore, Sanchi, and this is the pass that really brilliant, makes it brilliant. And Hines scores. It's 3 1 to us at this point. And honestly, I didn't think we could do wrong. But another set piece, I don't know what's wrong with us in this game, but Charles scores. Never have we done this badly at set pieces. Normally we're really rock solid. But they got a goal back. And this is then trying to get an equaliser. Heath, Atkins, Charles, Reese Jones and Honestly I didn't know what to, what was gonna happen. But Matthews got the ball. He's a very good goalkeeper, mind you. He plays it forward. This didn't look good at first. He didn't get the ball back. Until... I don't know where we got the ball back actually. I can't remember. This point. It was an overrated pass. Hines. Liberty. Cal again. Andrews. And Hines gets to that. It's a lovely ball. Knight should have done better, but I can't complain. We got the goal. 4 2. We killed it off. The next game, Concord Rangers. Less said about that, the, dip, the better. Look, they went down to 10 men and we still couldn't win. We. Honestly, we were the better team, in my personal opinion, but we just couldn't kill them off. I don't know how he didn't win. I really don't. Ghostport. Nah, another game where we should have done we should have won by a bigger scoreline, but at the same time I think a one nil scoreline was fair on our opponents. Because we didn't do as well as we could have done. But yeah, Jenkins, Hines, plays it in. And Smith gets there. 1-0. The only goal of the game. And honestly, I think that's all we deserve. We only deserve to win by a single goal. And the next game, Cambridge City. Yeah, not much really happened. We weren't brilliant in this game. We should have done better. And Kieran Gilbert, who I'm calling... Well, he's an absolute dick, let's be honest. He didn't do well for us. 
In fact, we're the best team he's ever. He's in my season that I was in charge. That was his best performances ever. And he still did rubbish. Look at it. Look at last year at Bainhead before he went to Cambridge City. Rubbish. Cambridge City. Rubbish. This year, better. But I doubt he's going to do much to help. But he didn't do well in this game, which is a 6.0 rating. But yeah, we didn't do very well in that game. This game, I was happy about. We got two goals. And... Honestly, this is a more even match, so I didn't know what to expect. But this is the first goal. And Sanchez scoring from the corner. This is where we're dangerous. I don't know. And Andrews is not really a corner kick taker, so for him to get an assist is great as well. But yeah, this is the free kick that helps us get going. Kier plays to Brightly, who scores his first goal of the season. Mind you, Palacios has not yet scored a league goal, and Brightly's only got one league goal. So Heinz has got four league goals, and Roberti's got two. That says everything, doesn't it? I mean, look at this. Heinz didn't do well in one of the games, so I dropped him. Perhaps a bit harsh, but I can't afford to have lax performances, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but we haven't been punished. Sanchez has been brilliant this season. I'm not sure where this has come from for him. But to be completely honest, he was decent last year as well. So, if anything, he's just picking up where he left off last year. Um, Stewart has officially got a call up from the under 19s Irish. Under 19s North Irish team. But this is where the left ringer I played him inside forward. He performed well there. I don't know what it was that got him to do so well. I guess it's because he's right footed and he was playing on the left hand side. He can cut, up, cut in the inside. I guess that's the only reason he did well, but I can't complain. Um, the only other game that we had was against Concord Rangers in the FA Cup. We drew against him before, so we got Bay back. We only had one shot on target in the entire match, and it was the only goal of the game. So, honestly, yeah, Palas is playing the ringer, row, uh, ringer position. So he's been a bit out of position, I guess. But he's actually the best player in that position. So I kind of need to do something about that. Here's, I think it's Palacios gets an assist. Yeah, Palacios plays this in. Hines heads it in. Palacios has got an assist from the ringer position and Hines scores. So, honestly, yeah. They, for some reason, trying to thought Heinz handled it. I don't know where that came from. I don't think I ever will find out where it came from. But at the moment, we're top of the table. We've considered just three goals. And take into consideration that we considered two goals against that, in that 4-2 win over Dorchester. We've only considered goals in two games. So Ben Matthews has got seven clean sheets this season. And for some reason, Portsmouth seem to have all the best goalkeepers because that's where I got Kevin Long from. Scary fault that. Absolutely scary fault. But yeah, I'm two points clear at the top of the table. I'm doing well. Our attacking's not brilliant. It's one of the worst in the league still. But we're doing our best. We're doing our bit. We're doing well, regardless. But honestly, I think we just haven't met any of the big teams let yet, like Bath, Hereford, Farnborough, Sutton United, and stuff like that. We've faced against Cambridge City and Eastbourne, but apart from them two, we haven't faced anyone, anyone else in the top half, apart from Bishop Strafford, who we beat. But still, I think there's a long way to go. We could still get knocked out of the playoffs, as far as I'm concerned. And at the moment... Even if we do win, if there's a bigger job out there for me, I might I might leave Bromley at the end of the season. I'm not sure yet. <sighs> yeah, who knows. I'm going to be recording several videos in advance, so you probably won't know this until I either left or stayed on. But, yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Look at this. 995 days I've been charged of Bromley now. I hope that you'll like and favourite this video, and I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel, it will really help me out a lot, 
So anyway, until next time, goodbye, good night, ta-ta!